What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is ICD Movie Reviews. My name is Onda Brinker and today I'm going to review The Forever Purge. This movie is the fifth movie in the Unnecessary Purge franchise and this movie stars Josh Lucas. All the rules are broken as the murderers decide that the annual purge does not stop at daybreak and instead should never end. Now I noticed I never reviewed a single purge movie on my channel. And the reason for that is, is that I am not a huge fan of the Purge franchise. I think the concept of the Purge is interesting that the government lets murderers kill people, let everyone kill people for 12 hours straight. I find the plot of the Purge very, very interesting. But the plot really loses itself and it just turns into a generic survival type movie. The first movie I find is a very generic like house invasion film with one of the most dumbest kids that I've seen in movies. The kids are very poorly developed and the rest of the Purge movies honestly gets worse and worse and unnecessary. So when it comes to this movie, of course I was not interested. And like I said in my Woman in the Window review, I wanted to catch up on some movies for 2021. So I did the most stupidest thing. I read this movie on YouTube movies because obviously this movie didn't come out in theaters in Australia. So I did rent this movie on YouTube movies and it's probably one of my biggest regrets that I've ever done. At least I rented it, at least I did. But this is something for you guys because I want to catch up on more movies and I want to find some more bad movies in 2021 because I haven't figured out my worst movies yet and thank God I did watch The Forever Purge for that because this movie really does suck. I think it is definitely the worst movie in my opinion in the Purge franchise. But the thing about this movie that I was honestly very interested in is the plot of this movie. They've gone for something different. That what if the purges or the murderers in the film had enough with the purge? Like saying, oh, let's, let's kill people forever. Like, screw the purge. After the purge, let's kill some more people. I find the plot of the forever purge very, very interesting. But the problem is, it didn't explore that. It's more of a survival film trying not to get killed by these murderers. And that is it. And the characters of the forever purge, honestly, were so boringly developed. Like the first 30 minutes of the film, I did watch this film last night, I fell asleep. And this morning I had to watch the rest of the movie to catch up. And honestly, this movie was just very generic and very boring as shit. Especially that I noticed throughout the movie and comparing this to the other Purge movies, this film wasn't as gory as the other Purge movies. Like there's a lot of parts in this movie where they've done a lot of killing and cutting to the next scene. And I'm just like, that's honestly my favorite part of the Purge movies. They go very, very violent and gory. This movie is like trying to be more PG-13 for some reason. And I don't understand, especially for the Purge fans. Purge fans probably want to see a lot of killing in the film. And honestly, the killings in this film has some clever development with it. But it honestly doesn't feel as exciting or suspenseful and scary. And speaking of scary, the Forever Purge has a lot of those really dumb false jump scares that we don't freaking need like holy shit there's a lot of false jump scares that are just there for scaring people and probably waking them up because this movie was just so boring from the first 35 minutes and when the approach thing actually happens i didn't find this movie fun or suspenseful i still find the movie boring and maybe it's just i'm not a fan of the approach franchise if you guys are huge fans of the approach franchise i think this movie will be for you and i want to enjoy movies like this because i like survival dystopian type movies i like those type of movies but the characters in the film, including Josh Lucas, and I don't know the woman's name, but she is from um, Army of the Dead that came out this year. I can't say the actress's name, I'll put her right there. They're really good actors, but in this movie, the characters are very boringly developed. Like, Josh Lucas plays basically a horse ranger in this family of horses. Of course, this film took place in Texas, so you have to wear cowboy hats. And that's probably a positive location change. And um, the chick in the film, I, I honestly cannot believe I can't say her name. Her name is really hard to say in my opinion. Um, sh she is doing her first purge. And I find that plot interesting. But the problem is this movie just took that away and just turned into the exact same problems that I had with the purge movies. With a really good plot, but the movie just turns into a very generic survival film with unlikable characters that you don't give a shit about. Overall guys, The Forever Purge is exactly what I thought it's going to be. It's exactly the exact same movie as the other Purge movies. It's very unnecessary. We don't need more of these movies. 
I guess for the fans, but I can see that Forever Purge is trying to be more of like the Paranormal Activity franchise or the Soul franchise, making more money with these movies. Guys, just skip the Forever Purge. If you're fans of the Purge franchise, I guess you will like this movie. I guess this movie gives the fans what they wanted. But honestly, if you're not Purge fans, do not check out this movie. And especially that this movie took place not after the first Purge. It took place after election year. Just keep that in mind of that. I am going to give the Forever Purge a D minus. So guys, that is my review for the Forever Purge. Let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. Do you like the movie? Hate this movie? What is your favorite Purge movie? Just let me know that in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Status, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and for my latest movie reviews. And have a nice day.